In lieu of popular YouTuber Rome Mithril, I'm going to be doing a perfect run of my own. Although I don't know if it'll go beyond the stage, and I don't know how long I'll be able to do it for. This is Rockman 5 YH, a really good Mega Man 5 ROM hack. I'm going to be starting with Jawa Man stage since he's my favorite robot master in this game, and yeah, that's about it really. The rules of this run are no charge buster, no damage, and yeah, beyond that, that's it. So some of the enemies work differently, such as these ones. They fire a shot at you based on where you are, so the best bet is to have them shoot straight if they have to shoot at all, so it's easy to dodge that way. This screen scrolls you downwards. It's a painful reminder that this stage is going to be doing something with that downward scrolling gimmick that's going to be nasty. Oh goodness, I didn't kill him this time. It's going to be a bit more difficult. And there. You don't really have to kill any enemies in this room, really. Just know what platforms to jump on so you won't get hit by the rocks, and especially so you won't get stuck in between those two enemies. Here's a fairly easy screen. Most of these enemies can be outsped by just good general movement, and they'll go down pretty easily. Nice easy screen, only to lull you into this false sense of security that everything's gonna be alright when it's not, because this screen is here to make your life living hell. This is likely the hardest stage, your <clears throat> hardest screen in the stage. Requires pretty good timing and definite knowledge of how the screen scroll works. The next part is by far the hardest part for me, and I'm sure it's not too bad for other people I imagine if they tried it, but it's just my kryptonite in particular. Those ladybugs can overwhelm you if you're not careful, and you've got to make a pretty tough jump shot to get rid of that second one, given the placement. And if you don't lure the ladybugs properly, you will get hit. So here's another tough screen, but it's not really a run ending screen. You want to kill those enemies fairly quickly so they can't start throwing stuff at you where you're at. Because they can get difficult if you let them get their groove going, which is to say more than one throw. Power Mazzler, easy enough. The one enemy I do know the name of, actually. His name's kind of unique among the other ones, so I time memorize it. There's a cannon here, you want to shoot rapidly for it. And now a Gyro Man himself, who is fairly difficult, but not unmanageable. Especially not if you know what you're doing. You want to do this to make sure his gyros can't overwhelm you. You want to scroll the first one off, because... Ideally... And you want the second one to be kind of close to the third one at best, because it's easier to jump over the two of them at the same time like that. Although you can vary your timing if you're not good at it. Wow, that was close. I messed up my strat and I didn't get hit. That's good, though. That's good, though. That's good. Yes! So basically, Gyro Man is all about pattern memory and knowing what to do with his gyro attack. Pretty fair boss fight. Never thought scrolling things off the screen, as unreliable as it can be, would be a really reliable strategy. But here it is, being a very reliable strategy. He can throw gyros in really weird ways too if you're not careful, so... Got him! Alright, that is Gyro Man. Whew. Fairly tricky, <laughs> actually. That might be the only stage I do like this, for the record. I just wanted to show off. It's quite a fun fight, actually. I actually think the Gyro Attack is also one of my favorite weapons in the original. Let's see what it's like here. Gyro Blade. I'm not actually gonna show it off. But, uh, yeah! That's the end of that run, <laughs> or that stage. Thanks for watching.
these enemies right here are the hardest to deal with in this stage, right here. Ah, like that. Your best bet is to wait for him to go by. Honestly, there's probably a- Oh, you mother f Oh, damn it, I forgot about the cannon. These enemies right here can be difficult to deal with, like that. These ladybug-like enemies are the absolute biggest pain in this level. Don't bother trying to kill any of the other enemies, it's not really worth it. And avoid that platform down there as well, it does take you forward. Oh, damn it! Oh! So, that was Gyroman stage. It can honestly be fairly difficult if you let it overwhelm you, and there are a lot of tricky jumps to make in it. Especially with the ladybugs, in particular. Beyond that, it's fairly easy if you memorize it, and the timing on most other things is fairly lenient, as far as I'm concerned. Shower Man himself, on the other hand, can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing, and initially I had a lot of trouble with him. But as I figured out how to scroll his stuff off, he became significantly easier. You have to be careful about where you are when he throws the gyros, though, as he does throw them directly at you, which is why I move deliberately at a different pace. You want to walk after he throws the first one, especially. That's really important. Either way, as far as Shower Man's difficulty, I would rate him as this. A solid 6 out of 10. Above average in difficulty, particularly with a few screens, in my opinion. And I think it's a pretty solid challenge as far as I'm concerned. Chow Man himself can be difficult, and if you're not careful, he can't overwhelm you. But beyond that kind of difficulty, Chow Man and his stage aren't too bad. If you get over the initial tough spots and the ladybugs, you'll be fine.